Last week I was just sorting my files and my disks and cleaning up some space when I saw this one little file right here called B-roll. Of course without any hesitation I clicked on it and to my surprise I saw a video file that I haven't seen in years. And you're never gonna guess it but that video file was also named B-roll. Despite my disappointment I still clicked on the video and what I saw is gonna blow your mind. A masterpiece of a video. Christopher Nolan level of filmmaking and cinematography, edited like a true master. Go to the next page because this is the wrong script. A masterpiece of junk of a video, 10 year old level of filmmaking and cinematography, edited like a boy that doesn't know what he's doing. Ah. I think you should just see it for yourself. The idea was cool though, but the filmmaking part of it was even worse than the name. And the lighting is non-existent, like you, you can't even see everything properly. I couldn't let such a cool idea go to waste, so instead of making some original videos, I'm taking that idea from three years ago and see if I can improve it, or rather how much I can improve it because this thing can be improved with one single step and that's lighting. So I still have the phone laying around in some of those boxes that I have right there. So let's see what I can make of it. At first I wanted to do it with well the phone that I use because this one is still not broken and this one has a broken back and some imperfections right here but the thing is I need to film the b-roll with my phone so we're still using this one uh, i'm gonna clean it up a little bit and maybe i can do some cool things with all those cracks in the background i'll see so i started really easy with just looking at the video and looking at it over and over again to see what shots i really needed to make in this but of course i'm also adding my own shots otherwise this video would be exactly the same as the previous one after that i grabbed my notebook and i just wrote down every shot that i had in my previous b-roll that i made so i can just follow them and make my own implementations of those shots i started the filming process behind my monitor so so I put a black paper on there, I just taped it to my monitors, I put up some lights, my camera and eventually I found out the black paper is way too small and the whole setup to make this video is a bit too small. So eventually I just took that all down and I went to the usual setup and that's just like with every video, the backdrop stand with the black backdrop on there. And then I just got my nightstand to stand in front of it. And from there I put the phone on it and those are the shots. After that I did a lot of shots and some of them are with my gimbal and some of them are with my tripod. Because as you can see in the original b-roll I had like a lot of moving shots but they were kind of jerky and the light wasn't really great. And I wanted to remake those moving shots again but wanted to do it way better and that's why i'm using the gimbal this time after that i just made a lot of the same shots just with the phone down with some camera movement and some phone movement with the turntable that i got and with that all combined i went on to editing the editing was quite simple just putting everything down on my timeline and just adding some speed ramps some effects and everything like that and eventually i was done with it and this is the end result